everybody. Today we have beautiful Lenovo ThinkPad T16 Gen 2 Intel Core i5 13th Gen laptop. We'll take it apart, we'll see what we can replace, fix, upgrade. Let's start. So we'll take out all the bottom screws. Be gentle, don't lose the screws and <laughs> they stay in the case. Okay, now let's separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Use only the plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch the other part. Our bottom is out. Here we should have the part number somewhere on the white sticker. Now we have access to all the internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. So we have to unscrew all the screws which are on all the edges. If the screw is stuck, remember to press it hard before the first move. Okay, now we can take out the battery. Here we have part number, the through number. That's the one usually listed on eBay or gatlaptopparts.com. That's where you can find all the spare parts. Uh, now let's disconnect the SSD drive. So if your system, system is not booting up, you have blue screen and the system says no boot device found, replace this drive. Okay, it's here under the cover. That's our drive, it's an NVMe drive. You can also upgrade to a bigger one. Let's take out the cooling. So if your fan is making grinding noise or cooling is bad, replace the part. So let's start with the heat sink. Now, be gentle and disconnect the fan from the motherboard. Okay, it slides out. Now lift the heat sink. Be careful, don't bend it. It will not work if you bend it. Okay, here we have the part number. Now, here we have the slot for the additional memory, RAM memory. So if you have to, if you would like to add some memory, you can use this slot. Here. 
Okay, now let's take out the USB I.O. board. Okay, it is under the hinge plate, so let's leave it for now. Let's disconnect all the cables from the motherboard and unscrew the motherboard. So disconnect everything here. Always close the port, they're very fragile, so you don't want to break that retaining clip. Here we have LCD cable, flip that latch. Now we can pull out the cable. Screw right. for the motherboard. Disconnect the touchpad here. A few more screws on the side where the ports are. Let's take them out. Go here. Now disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna from the Wi-Fi card. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card is soldered on the motherboard. So if it stops working, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Here we have the speaker. Maybe let's take it out so it's not in our way. Also, if your sound is bad, Replace the speaker. So disconnected here from the motherboard. That's our speaker. And here we have the part number. So pretty much everything is out. Oh, that's a video, another video cable. So flip the clip. And now we can slide it out. Let's see. Oh, there is another screw here for the motherboard. Oh, and another screw under that metal bracket cover. Now we should be able to take out the motherboard. Okay, yeah, it's coming out. There is something holding us back. So there is a keyboard connector on the other side. So let's take out the keyboard first. So we can disconnect the motherboard. So slide out the keyboard. It's very easy. Now we have these two cables, so disconnect them. This is our keyboard. Here we have part numbers. Now the motherboard should be free. All right, it is. Let's close the connector for the keyboard. Here we have the part numbers. I'm 
unfortunately the CPU processor is soldered on the motherboard so we cannot take it out. Check also these part numbers. You never know which ones were listed. And look for your parts on gatlaptopparts.com. All right, now we can take out that I.O. USB port, I.O. board. Looks like we have to disconnect hinges for the screen. has one more screw here. Now we have we can take it out. Okay, that's the power button, so let's take it out, yeah. That's our timer to the touchpad. You can take out also the touchpad by unscrewing these seven screws. Okay. Well, let's take out the LCD from the cover. Use plastic sponger and Take out the front bezel, work it all the way around the LCD. All right, so the front bezel is out. That's the part number for it. Now let's take out the screen. Put 
To disconnect this cable, you have to flip this retaining latch. That's the latch. Flip it down, and now you can slide it out. That's the model and part number for your screen. And now we have the back cover left with the LCD video cable, hinges, and the webcam. Here we have the part number for the back cover. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.